Hello friend and welcome to the slowest sim driving channel on YouTube. I'm Grandpa Goes Gaming and this is Dakar Desert Rally. This game is now updated as far as it's going to be updated. We've got all the content we're ever going to get. So it's time to start wrapping up those treasure hunts. As promised previously, we're going to be using a motorbike for this one. It's the Honda NXR 750 and this is part of the final Classics DLC. The game tells me that Ha'il is the next location for us to go for. This is 14 treasures. We've already got 28% of the treasures in Saudi Arabia, which is 35 of 127. Okay, so there's no wheel cam today because I'm on the controller since we're using a motorbike. Let's go, let's see what treasures we can find in Ha'il and uh, we're going to bike, we're going to have a good look around, really survey the scenery which is going to be great can we jump over rocks with this bike? oh we can, we can traverse small rocks, so that's even better uh, we're going to see how quickly we can do it, we started at 8.30am you know me, I like to do this before nightfall this bike does deal with sand very well, uh, I'm very impressed Certainly better than the cars do, but I'm sure I'm going to find the, uh, the bike's limitations soon. I uh, don't know how long it's going to take us to get 14 treasures. We this handles dunes uh, very well. Might start using this for every event. Oh, that's a big jump! Look at that landing. That was awful, but at least we've on the wheels, so that's what counts. Oh, we're struggling to get up this hill, dune. Not a hill, it's a dune. And correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe that a difference between a dune and a hill is that a dune isn't solid. A dune is quite literally a mound of sand. Oh yeah, oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a spectacular landing and yeah. This is very, very different to driving the cars. And also being a controller is very strange as well. Uh, I think that's why I don't drive the bikes and quads so much because uh, I don't use controller a lot when I'm gaming. You see the sand as far as the eye can see at the moment. This area not too big on landmarks unless you can that massive dune up ahead. We're gonna try and go, oh the massive dune up ahead is where the next treasure is apparently. First treasure is. Or is it? It's in this region, let's try and get some high ground. Is that it? That dark object, there's our first treasure. Okay, at 8.44 we are on the board with our first treasure. Of course we're going to want to uh, get ourselves a sponsor reel for this and hopefully a vehicle. I have had to ditch one of the vehicles unfortunately. The, um, the truck that we've won in one of the previous treasure hunts I've had to ditch because it's glitched. I know it's uh, been a problem for a few people, but I don't believe it's going to get patched ever. So I guess I'll have to buy one. Never mind, these things happen. So if you're part of an organisation that organises the World Cup of Sandcastle building, really Ha'il is the place to be. There is so much sand here that uh, you could make the biggest sandcastles in the world. Beyond that, uh, I, I don't know. Let's see if there's anything over this hill that isn't uh, a dune. Or anything over the dune that isn't a hill. Let's see if there's anything over this dune. Here we go, against the top, and... Not against the top. I was promising, nope, nope, just more dunes. Okay. Just gonna go in a straight line and hope we find something that's not a dune. Oh, we found something, we found some treasure. Another one just... Uh, lying around not too tough to find so one of the later treasures might really fox us you know what saber are like so 857 we're doing well for the first two already are we going to be going in a straight line again or is that it uh, just lulling us into a false sense of security i get the impression it's taking us all the way north and then it's going to take us in some sort of a, a circle around the hatil territory anything over this dune more dune! Dune upon dune, although it looks like we're approaching some rocks in the distance, but for now, big dunes 
little dunes, lots of dunes, everywhere dunes. Don't walk with rhythm because the sandworms will get you. Here we go, big reveal. No big reveal, or more. Oh no, we're getting some, uh, get some denser ground now. So the bike's gonna start getting a little bit more stable and, aha, right, okay. At this point, we are gonna have to think our way around the scenery. Um, I can use the radar to a certain extent. I wonder if there's a way over, a way through. Oh, this looks like a way through. Okay, if you look at the radar there, it looks like a brain or something. That's uh, crazy. Lots of little channels that come off this. Don't know if we can make use of any of those. Could have perhaps turned right there, but I think we're going to keep going this way. Maybe turn off just to the right here if we can. You see, I've struggled with the car if I I'd used, uh, used one for this, so I'm going to pick this. I don't know if we've got the, the torque to get up here, I think we have. The bike not exactly wanting to go where I tell it to, but that's fine. We're still upright, we're still going in this direction, we'll veer to the right here. Oh, this is cool, we could do a, a motorbikes only race up this. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Okay, we'll keep going to the right, because that's where the treasure is. I don't know if I can just hop over the top here, I don't want to... I don't want to try it and find myself stuck. We like this. Right, so that's the end of that. Can we get around here? Is there any way around this? That looks far too steep for the bike. Ooh, the side. There we go. <laughs> Let's see if we can. Uh, will the bike get up here? Really? It's having a good go. Well, I guess with the uh, the Honda, you don't have to go around mountains. You can just go over them. Oh, snap. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. We're up. Okay. So, so the treasure's this way somewhere. Is the treasure at the top of a mountain? Get a good look over here. This looks like the the peak, is it? Not quite. Not quite. This might be the peak. Just oh yeah, look at this. What a great view we can get from just here. Stop. All righty then. After a, a brief pause to take some pictures for socials. I don't know if we're going to continue along this mountain. It looks a little bit treacherous at this point. We're actually sliding. I think I might go down the other side of it, if we can. Well, I suppose we can get down, you know, that's uh, that's the easy bit. But can we get down safely? That's the question. Uh, I thought we needed to be up this mountain. I guess not. Ooh, this, uh, this bike doesn't want to do what I ask it. And we're down. Okay, that's our first setback. Since we're not even at the mountains, we're still back at the dunes. Oh well, maybe I'll go around this time. Yeah, we're gonna go where I'm heading now. I think. Uh, where are we? I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm not sure which side to attack because obviously the uh, the second treasure after this one is then gonna be a left turn towards the west. So I doubt it wants us to go to the west to go east to go back west again. So let's let's head east and we'll go around. The mountain. It was, it was pretty to take photos on, but you know, it didn't really do anything for us other than get me reset back to the previous treasure. So we'll need to work on that. It might look like it's going to cost us some time, but in the long run, I don't think it will. I think this is where I'm supposed to be going. So it looks like the, uh, the hill peters out just here. Can we get through just there, perhaps? Is this is where we're supposed to be. Oh, the treasures have swapped sides, so perhaps that other one's actually just further away, rather than to the left. Huh, okay. I see you, game. I see what you're doing. This place looks like a giant Yorkshire pudding, to be honest, and... Whoa! And we're going to be lucky to stay on the bike if we're taking the, uh, 
making a beeline, so let's, let's head around the edges a little bit. Perhaps not be so excitable with the throttle. Whee! Okay, this looks, whoops, this looks sandier and flattier. Flattier? <laughs> flatter. Makes sense to get the bike here. Whee, little air. This really is a really unusual section. I've not seen any rocks like this anywhere else in the game. Oh, good grief. Now where are we going? Hold it! Hold it! Whoa. Yes, okay. <laughs> We're still upright. Oh, these rock formations are crazy. We'd have had to take a massive detour in the car. Well, it might have been quicker. It looks like it would have also been quicker to go uh, go left like I'd originally planned. I shouldn't have turned right at the last minute, but never mind. Here we are, it's getting flatter now, it's getting more uh, way getting more sensible. It's just throwing the bike into the air. We are getting plenty of air. Oh here we go. We have arrived. Where will it be? There's not many hiding places here. Oh, suddenly very bright. So we're going to want to get to high ground, have a good look around. Here's some high ground for us to use. Do you see it? Shout if you see it. Now, are you up there? That's where I'd hide it. Okay, we're just outside the circle now, so... Perhaps not here, but we can certainly have a good look around from this vantage point. There's a dark patch over there, but I think that's vegetation. I'll have a look anyway. It's not even vegetation, look, it's just a shadow. <laughs> okay, never mind. We'll look from here. Anything? Well, I said they'd be starting to uh, really hide them after those first two very easy ones. We'll continue on the outskirts for the time being. Wouldn't be up there, would it? No, that's, that's too far out the circle. Okay. What have we got? Oh! What's that? That's not a shadow. Yo! Number three found, almost quarter past ten. So we're not doing too great at the moment for beating the sunset, but I'm going to try anyway. Obviously when the sun goes down it's going to be much, much harder to see the treasures. We've got to go back around this mountain. Uh, there we go, we'll go this way I think. Oh, this is so hard to uh, climb mountains with, which I suppose it should be because it's a motorbike, it's not a, a mountain climbing kit. Oh! This is uh, tricky terrain, but there you go. But we could almost, uh, I was about to say we're well, almost as the crow flies, but uh, come on, you stupid bike. I saw no reason for that to happen. So we're almost to the point that we can just go forward as the crow flies. There's some sand, let's use that. Tricky terrain, but if I don't use it, we're going to have a much, much longer journey because these, uh, these rocky regions are very, very large, very expansive. So that's the, uh, the other thing about High Hill then. We've got at, uh, lots of sand dunes and lots of rocks. Here we go. Lots of rocks that look like a, a, a massive baked product. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Where are we going? Stop. Oh, the, yeah, the physics. The physics are making my, making my head hurt. And back on the sand. Okay, what can possibly go wrong on the sand? 
Well, as long as we don't take these uh, these dunes too fast, hopefully nothing. I'll just ease off. Looks like I'm worried about the speed I'm going at. Of these blind dunes, yeah, that would have been a lot worse if I hadn't backed off. Here we go. We're moving again. Back into dunes. So the dunes took us to a very hazardous area. I wonder if it's going to take us to another area that's equally hazardous but for a different reason. We've definitely got some mountainous areas up in the distance. I'm not sure if that's a structure I just saw. Some description. Oh no! Okay, I backed off just enough then to uh, to not be in a lot of trouble. We are away once more. Okay, we've got rocks in the sand this time, so now I need to be uh, more aware. Let's perhaps look a bit more forward-facing. There we go. Yeah, now we can identify any small, unpleasant rocks we see. I've got to wipe his head. No, I can't wipe my windscreen, unfortunately. I have to just stay dirty. Now, what have we got here? Huh. Oh, what we have got here is the uh, the treasure. Let's take a look around. Let's see what we can see. So the treasure isn't in this area here. It's uh, uh, it's in an area that I can't immediately access. Whoops! What's this here? Can we get down here? No! No, 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 don't do it! Oh, pants. Okay. <laughs> Didn't really want to be here, but uh, here we are. <gasps> well, isn't that a thing? Okay, we're back. Time lost. But uh, no, I'm not apart from that. So I think this time we'll go left. Rather than uh, rather than falling off something and, and uh, you know, let's go all the way back again. Get around just here. There's clearly a road of some description. Um, I don't think it's going to be on the road, though. I think it's going to be on the other side of the road. That to me makes more sense as a hiding place. Because if you look at the circle, it's, it's not really covering the road that much. So if I was going to hide it, I'd hide it somewhere around here. Somewhere in between some rocks, perhaps behind a rock. Uh, something involving rocks, since there's lots of rocks here. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for it. Where are you? Oh, hey. Sneaky, sneaky, yes. Sneaky, sneaky treasure. Almost half past 11. We're, we're not doing well with this one. But maybe I can start catching up now. It's uh, treasure four. Is done. So we're back out into the sand again. More sand, more dunes. Okay, well, it is Dakar Desert Rally, so I guess we can forgive it for having lots of dunes. This is a big one. Can just ease off. Yep, didn't know how big the jump was going to be off that one. Some of them, the ground just falls away from you, in, and that's it. You know, you're just sailing through the air. Uh, at the mercy of the uh, the physics gods, who are all on drugs, I think, in this game, but never mind. And here we go. I'm not seeing any immediate landmarks popping out. So, no more crazy paving rock formations at the moment. Also, no roads, no settlements, nothing, just, just sand. Am I going mad? Well, props to the environment team, because this must have been very dull to craft. Uh, of course, it's very challenging to ride through. Don't get me wrong, even though it might not look exciting, it is quite a challenging ride. Uh, but it, it, it had to have taken a lot of development. Getting all these bumps, all these dunes. Bless them. And there we go, more of the same. As you see, you get carried away, take too much speed over one of these... And that's it, you're straight in the opposite dune, pulling off your bike. Tall one up ahead. Anything behind this? 
More sand. More sand. Sand as far as the eye can see. Oh, more sand. Yay. More dunes. Yay. All right. I've got big, big hopes now. Got to be something over this one. It's a big dune. That's it. I'm going mad. I know I'm going mad. Also, this has been a really long ride. If I come off now, I'm going to be absolutely gutted. Now it's getting closer. I'm not imagining it. There is something there in the distance. Something very pointy and spiky. I wonder if that's our destination. Oh yeah, we've got actual landmarks now. So it's time to get worried that I might crash into something. Instead of just getting worried that I fly over a dune. Oh, oh we've got a... A circle of interest. It's probably going to be up near that big rock at the top. We'll uh, we'll circle that and we'll see what we can find. Let's go. Oh, it's not a big rock at the top. It's uh Huh. Okay. It's something very different to what I imagined it to be. Okay. So we think... We, I say we. I think that the treasures appear somewhere. Around here. No. No. Can we see it from here. The cave system would be a great place to hide a rock, a uh, treasure, not a rock, obviously. <laughs> what are you talking about? Anything down here? Anything at all? We're still inside. This oh, there it is. I thought it was a rock. Boop. Okay, 12.05, treasure five. That one wasn't too difficult. Let's head back into the dunes. Okay, let's go over this dune, see where we're going. We're going to more dunes. There's a definite theme with this area. Right, I think I've just seen some rocks up ahead, so we're gonna be a little bit more careful. I'm not gonna get too much over this particular dune, or is it a hill? Oh, it's a dune. It is a dune. But yeah, there's the rocks, so we need to start being careful again. Uh, the route a little bit more... You know, not in a straight line unless that's it for the rocks. I see some of this dune as well. Let's just be careful. Oh, it's, it's quite a distance away. I don't know if that's where we're heading. It's, it's clearly a landmark, but no, we're going away from that. Oh, we've got trees. These are the first trees we've seen in the entire treasure hunt. Wow, okay. Life finds a way, I guess. So we're heading through the rocks and then to the left, I think. Oh, it's actually here. Uh, I don't know if that's a cave system or if we've got to get to the top of the rocks. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. A roadway? It's not a roadway. Okay. That complicates matters slightly. Who was that? Is that a shadow or is that a an entrance? No, it's just a, a hole in the wall. Okay. Okay. This is very perplexing. Oh, rock! Let's not go right back to the, uh, the previous treasure spot. This is crazy. How do we get up there? Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, no, no. Got too excited. That's not the way up. What about this here? What is this? Can we get on here? A bit mental then. Let's uh, put it back down this way. Nice and gently like. We. Oh! Oh no! No! 
Well, that was a long and annoying ride that I really shouldn't have had to do. But never mind, we're back. Okay, at least we know it's in the shadow of the mountain. That gives us a bit of a reference point to work with. Was it this one? Is that the one I rode up and then fell off? Let's take a look. I'll put it around here. No, I don't think this was it. There it is. Oh, right. Number six, just after half past one. Oops, go on. Number six, just after half past one. Let's go on to number seven. And hopefully, hopefully this is a little bit more interesting and involve fewer dunes. And then we're off back into, yes, the dunes. So I'm back to controlling my speed on these jumps. Here we go. Some big rocks up here, which are... Well, that's nice to see some landmarks for a change. Got these little rocks here to look out for. They're not too bad, I don't think I can stay in this view. So we can continue to look around at the scenery. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's great scenery, it's very sandy. Oh yes, dunes. We're getting close to that big, uh, that big mountain there, but it's not where we're heading. There's somewhere just to the right of it. By the look of this, oh, we've got some trees and we've got some small rocks. So time to really ease off. Oh, a road! Ah, rocks! Ah. Okay, we're all right. We have to have a road or a track we can follow. That might be safer than bouncing through the dunes. I'm not entirely sure it's going the way that we want to go. Oh, it is. We're going just to the left here. Let's hop up that dune. Which we'll have plenty of practice doing and we'll have a good look around. See what we can see. Can't see it. Oh, another one of those just dumped in the middle of the sand. It's nice and easy. So, about 10 minutes to 2, and we are now halfway through our treasure hunt. Going back towards the north now. So we're going in the, uh, around the base of this mountain. Oh, be very careful of these rocks. Just make sure we can spot these rocks coming. This bike from 1985, so I'm, I'm really digging that uh, that compass. Nice classic analog compass on an LCD display. Very cool. But of course we've got the uh, got the modern tablet there attached to it to work as a road book. If we were in a race, so that's pretty cool. Some nice attention to detail. Oh, motoring now. But I can't see what's over this rise. So he's off. Dunes? Could have thought it. We'll follow the road for a little bit because it's heading in roughly the right direction for us. Oh, then it ends. <laughs> Never mind. We'll go back off road again, back into the dunes. If 1,000 meters is a kilometer, is 1,000 kilometers a megameter let me know because to me that makes sense that might be completely wrong go through the dunes oh across some traces there so that was a racing line at some point for one of the events can't really say anything interesting well, this could be a big drop so let's not overdo it whoa Right, I've just seen a landmark. What is this? Let's check this out before we, uh, we continue. Oh, the treasure's here. The treasure's at this landmark. Okay, so let's go in by the road. It's like some sort of settlement, I think. Alrighty. I've come for your treasures. Give them to me. 
No treasures here. Okay. Uh, well, oh, there it is. In the corner. So 215 for our eighth treasure. We're over halfway. Numerically speaking, we're over halfway. I don't know what the distance is like. Yay! I got to walk the bike so I could fit through there. Made it all worth it. I just love sand dunes. What's on top of this one? More sand dunes. Wow. I'm so glad I really like sand dunes. I'm going to become sort of sand dune expert, I think. Start learning about the different kinds of dunes and what forms them. Then I'll have something to actually talk about while we're riding through them. I mean, I say they don't look very interesting. The, the dunes are big hazards. Yeah, they're tough to get up. And you don't know how steep they are on the other side and how sharp the drop-off is. We're approaching some rocks now. I think that's going to be our next destination. I'm just sure what's over there. Looks like there's something flat or some man-made. Oh, where did this come from? Don't fall! <laughs> oh my goodness! The terrain got suddenly very interesting and I wasn't ready for it. Bit of an oasis. No! <laughs> okay. Wow, the bike was uh, all about that rock. So we've got a treasure here? I don't think we have. I think we're going through the oasis. Probably this direction over here. Wow, that was a... That was a big moment. So I mean about these dunes, they, they look dull. And you get so complacent with them. Uh, but they, they can end you in a heartbeat. Keep on these rocks. Hey, headlight. Didn't really help though, because it is daytime. It's just shadows. It's not like uh, we can't see where we're going. I'm going to go carefully through here. Give these nice wide berth, I think. Got a road up ahead. Don't think there's any use to us, but... Uh, nice to see some sort of civilization every now and then before we go to the dunes. Speaking of dunes, here they are. Some little rocks just to uh, ruin our day. Tracer, sort of racing route. It's, uh, it's fun. No, uh, no real landmarks to stand out and, you know, really enjoy, but all the same. It reminds us that we're not on a barren world made of sand. I also have to keep reminding myself we are in a desert, so, you know, stop complaining about the sand and all that. So there's a road there to the left. Might head that way because it'll be safer than trying to traverse all of this, uh, this nonsense here. There we go. And I think the road's actually going to be around the direction we're going as well. So that's even better. Excellent. Um, okay, the road's ended, but we've still got some trail we can follow, some tracks. Oh, there's rocks. Oh, there's more rocks. Oh, lots of rocks. Okay, we're still going. It's fine, the bike can handle it. One of the reasons we bought the bike, was remember, it can handle things like that. And we are back off on our merry way once more. Oh, look. Sand. More dunes. Yes, more dunes. There is uh, there's something rocky up ahead on the horizon, but... Well, I don't know how it's going to take to get there. This, this has got lots of veg in this area. Vegetation, not vegetables. Um, hmm, and rocks as well. So we're going to want to just pick our way through here carefully. Because we're getting closer and closer to the treasure, so it's more and more important that we stay on course. Oh, it's here. It's here somewhere. Just off the road. Alrighty. Let's have a look around. There's some water over there. We'll sort of amble in that direction. We haven't had a, a chest near water yet in this treasure hunt, so that's certainly a possible place where they could hide it. I don't think they'd submerge it totally, but, uh, you know, couldn't put it past them. 
Oh, 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 what's this? In the water, called it. Okay, just past three o'clock. Five treasures left to get. We're destined to lose the sun. Unfortunately, um, that's going to make life very difficult. Nothing we can do about that right now. All we can do is just keep looking for rocks and not crashing into them. Let's take this off road, I think. Go in this direction over here. We're approaching rocks, so let's not get too confident with it. Bit of a trail just here. But we're going to swing over to the right. Going into the setting sun. Even though we're heading south, which is a bit bizarre. But uh, there you go. So I'm hoping we're going to find some sort of man-made landmark at some point that's going to really stand out and make us go, wow! But uh, there's certainly no evidence of that yet. Like the, the land that time forgot. Way. Oh, we've got a treasure to the left. Man made structure over there in the distance, but uh, treasure to the left. So let's wibble our way over here. And let's take in the scenery. So I think you always want to check out the man made structures first for treasures. Farm, perhaps. Run back with the cars. Got any treasures for me? Throw about your wall. Oops, throw about that wall as well. So sorry. Oh no! I'm sorry about your car house. There it is. And I'm going to take your treasure as well, because I'm a horrible person. So, 10 treasures. 26 minutes past 3. Sorry about your wall. Alright, I'm making some progress now. We might still get all the treasures before the sun goes down. But it's looking a little bit, uh, meh. Because of those earlier accidents that, uh, that I had. I got all excited then. I thought we found something awesome. Something exciting. But no, afraid not. We move on. At least the ground's much flatter here, so we can really get the hammer down. But as I do here, I'm going to just slow down for. Lovely jabbly. Great feeling of speed when you've got this vegetation rushing past you like this. Way. It's a nice big ear as well. Let's not go too big on the air for this one. Here we go. I got a feel that was quite high. Oh, we're really shifting. Let's drop speed soon because I don't want to be hitting any small rocks. I have to go back to the start of our journey. Let's just let the speed scrub. No, so we weren't going where I thought we were going. Okay. The journey continues. Wow, there is nothing out here at all. It's just so desolate. I wonder if that's where the word desert comes from or the word desolate comes from. You know, one or the other. They're not both going to come from each other. This is like uh, riding a motorbike on Mars at, almost at the moment. Well, I do see a tree. I don't see any trees on Mars. Oh, look, it's just sand as far as we can see. I wonder how many times I've said sand during this video. In fact, four treasures left. I've just realised that all four are bunched together. And I know that they like to take you to sort of sectors. So we're going to the last area, I think, that we're going to be doing the treasure hunt in. And all of the chests should be reasonably close together. I mean, not, not ridiculously close together, but... I think the distance from this treasure to the next treasure is probably going to be the longest distance we have to cover now. This is a very long run to this treasure though. If something happens to the bike now, I'm going to be absolutely devastated. 
everything's turning orange now as the sun sets so we're definitely losing daylight very very shortly really got to get a move on and it's just more and more sand oh look at that there's a settlement there to the right we're going to be visiting that at some point not yet we're going past it at the moment there's some rocks over here so i don't want to gun it too much there's the rocks on the left Right, this should give us a really good view at the top. We should be able to see what's going on around us. Oh, that's a big rock. So all of a sudden, rocks. The cap we can use there. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that was unexpected. I thought that was just a really big dune with a rock at the top. We've had a very sudden change in tempo. As you can see, we've got a lot of small rocks now, which have really ruined my day. I sent it back to the previous treasure point, which was, I don't know how far back, I'm going to say at least an entire rally's worth back. Alrighty. Got to be careful to see it. Be very gentle with the uh, inputs. And there we go. We've got some decent altitude, so we can see what's what, and it is literally just more sand dunes. My heart has sunk. Oh, but look at the light the light fading we can see it right in front of us as the shadows are getting longer and longer I wonder if we'll be heading to the road right now the road's heading in more or less the direction we want to be might be a nice break from leaping off fur dunes here we go the road is mine we we'll ride towards the moon Goes on forever but still all four treasures are in this direction so I think all four are going to be quite close together when we eventually find the first one I'm so pleased when we find the first one because that will be our first checkpoint for I don't know were you counting was it 200 kilometers oh rocks I don't believe it one rock no well, the sun's definitely gone down. Uh, it's been a long ride back. I don't know where I am in relation to where I got reset. But the sky's pretty. That's one thing at least. Just us and our headlight in the desert. At some point I think I'm going to find a rock. Which is going to ruin my evening a little bit more. Uh, six o'clock game time almost two hours riding my fingers are definitely uh, ready for a rest i think but we've still got four treasures to find so they can't rest yet we must battle on uh, i hope there's something on the sponsor reel that's black and yellow for us to make up for this very worried about jumping over these dunes now uh, now that i know we've got these small random rocks in this region can see something in the distance that looks like a, it could be a landmark. We can down into that valley. I'm not quite sure. I'm not going to go down there just yet until I'm I'm more sure of my destination. Just we'll scoot along the top of this dune. It's going to take us that way anyway. So it was a long drive to get to where we got reset, and it's just as long a drive afterwards. Hundreds of kilometres between treasures 10 and 11 literally hundreds absolutely incredible oh but we're here the treasure is in this region here so is this the end of the road well, if we can just find it we've got our checkpoint it's not uh, not found that car is it no Okay, go on the toilet. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh, finally. <laughs> finally, we've got a checkpoint. Uh, 6.43 p.m. local time. Just after two hours riding. Oh, yeah, he's, uh, he's feeling it as well. Let's move on to treasure number 12. Three to go. 
Looks like we're heading towards a mountain range of some description at the moment. I don't know if that's where our destination lies. At least the ground's a little bit flatter than it was. Okay, by flat, I mean the ground's trying to shake the bike to pieces. It's okay, it's still kind of fun in the dark. More interesting than dunes at least. But it's quite a pointy mountain there, I think we'll have to uh, go up that. Okay, despite everything, this bit is quite cool in the dark. Just gunning it across the air, but I think I'll have to drop anchor soon. This looks like the sort of mountain we had at the start of the uh, treasure hunt. That led to a couple of resets last time. So I'll try and stay to the outskirts. I'm not going to try and go over any of the uh, really steep parts of it. Whee! And I'm just going to go backwards. Damn. Okay, this time we take a slightly different approach. I'm going to uh, try and go around the mountain, like right around it, because we're just losing too much time with all of these resets. Plus, it's cool to just uh, drive through this terrain at really high speed. But I am starting to think that maybe the bike was the the wrong call. But you know, we tried it out. It wasn't wasn't perfect for us. Next time I'll uh, I'll bring something different. Right, this time maybe the the, the next treasure is up the mountain because that's that's quite a mountain. That's uh, a bit of an intimidating climb. I'm just keeping it pinned at the moment, hoping for the best. Trying not to overcorrect too much. We don't want the bike to suddenly turn around on us. As it likes to in this game. It's like we're, we're climbing to the heavens at the moment. Heading for the stars. Yeah, the, the treasure's up here. We would have needed a, a decent car to get up here, something with a lot of torque. But what we've got now is an issue where it's, we've got a treasure that's hard to find. Uh, it's dark. I've got to rely on my headlight. Right, this is very, very tricky in the dark. This is why I want to get all the treasures before the sun went down. Using the helicopter is uh, really not as effective when you can't see what you're looking at. Helicopter out. But again, I just can't see anything. Oh, what's that? Is that it? Down to the left or is that a bush? And we're going to find out. Uh, so yeah, again, completely the opposite direction of what I was telling it to do. I think it's a bush. It's a bush. Okay. What a nightmare situation this is. Oh, what's that? Is that a bush? That's a bush. Okay. I've really enjoyed all of the, uh, the treasure hunts up till now. This one, this one I've not gelled with. High Hill has just been, it's been dunes and it's been these nasty up and down mountain things. There's been no real landmarks, nothing to look at and, and be amazed by. It's felt honestly like uh, filler content. I think my uh, my discontent with this particular region has become very clear. There it is. No, it's not a bush. <laughs> I thought it was outside the circle, but it's not. Probably already been here. To be fair. Uh, excuse me. Well, thank you. I don't know. Oh my god. Come on. Okay, I didn't record the, the ride back. It seemed like a, a waste of storage space. So we're back to where we were. Yeah, I think this treasure's been a bit unnecessary. There's a bush up there. Uh, I don't want to reset because that would be awful. I think it's been unnecessarily difficult, this one. Just the terrain's made it unnecessarily difficult. I know that the, the treasures aren't in the same place for everybody. Uh, and I think it's just been mean to me. 
on this particular occasion. Uh, it's bullying me, clearly. This is right in the centre of the circle. Stop! Stop! Don't move. I don't know where to search. I have no idea. Oh, don't fall off again. I might have to rage quit if I do. Okay, so I've returned in daylight because I was concerned that perhaps it might be bugged or something. Uh, we're at about 100 kilometers from about 100 kilometers from the checkpoint and it's just sat here in a completely different location. So it looks like it's randomized the locations because I've left and come back in again. I'll take it. We'll add our current times, of course, to the times before. I don't know if perhaps it's put another one of the um, treasures back where we struggled to find it. That leaves us with two now. So there you go. If ever you're in a position where it's telling you it's, it's in a mountain and you can't find it on the mountain, come out of free mode and go back in again. This is a cool looking place we're heading towards. Finally, we haven't got any cool places yet. So, I don't know if perhaps that's where it's always been, but the game was just glitched. Which is why there was absolutely no sign of the treasure. Um, but this one's got to be quite close to, uh, to it. Yeah, when I went back into Free Roam, the, the treasures were all showing as being the same place on the map. Nothing had moved. So, I, I think that maybe that was a bug. I don't know. What matters we're back underway. Oh, here we go, it's the next one. So one last treasure to find. Isn't it amazing when it uh, when it all works out, it works out nice. We still haven't had a major landmark, uh, a big man-made Wonder of the World style thing like we've had in the previous um, treasure hunts. And it's a pity really because it's been it's, it's been boring, it's been frustrating this one. Hope it's not taking us back to that mountain. Because we are heading mountainward at the moment. Uh, I think we're going left to go around it. Could this be at an end soon? I finally going to have a cup of tea. Oh, smooth bit. Careful, don't get too carried away. This last treasure, quite a distance from the others. Oh no, we're heading to a mountain. That's my nemesis in this area. Let's hope that's not actually uh, where the treasure is. Oh, we're heading back to that mountain again, aren't we? Oh, no. There it is, there's the confirmation on the radar that this is where we're going. Hopefully Daylight will be our ally. Go Daylight! Oh, oh that was a nightmare. Let's see what we've got. Let's see how we can win. Let's make it worthwhile. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I kind of like the colours of the pH Sport, but did we have a pH Sport last time? We did. Let's have the Camaz. Yeah, let's do it. We So there it is. And there it was. That was the Ha'il treasure hunt. It took us in total uh, 2 hours 47 minutes which is, for me, absolute nightmare territory. I'm never coming back to do this one again. Thankfully, I never have to. But I hope you'll come back again, because it's been lovely to have you. Hope you'll drop a thumb, maybe a sub, tickle the bell, and until next time, 
Bye bye for now.